Hey guys, um, so this is going to be kind of a different Saturday Thoughts. Um, I'm shooting it kind of late at night. Um, and uh, I'm just going to kind of read what I wrote down. Um, so, usually I'll do like an intro and then, you know, try to make it entertaining. <laughs> but, uh, so, but today is kind of a weird. Um, day so um so i have some thoughts <laughs> i'm just gonna go off the uh sorry that's my laptop i'm gonna go off the the thing i read <clears throat> life it's this thing that we do every day live although do any of us really know what life is the the substance of it we all, we all have this concept of what we think life is and what it should be. Some of us want to have a family and just make a living and get by. Others think that life is about acquiring wealth, possessions, and you know the acceptance of other people. Um, and then there's just so many things that we want out of life. People search to make their life fulfilled. I'm sorry, I keep doing that. <laughs> it's funny to me because we spend our whole life in search of this th thing, this someone or this something that's going to fulfill us. So we spend our whole life looking for something that's going to fulfill our life. But I believe life is more day to day, moment to moment. Cause you don't get any do-overs do in this life. And we have some people that worry about the future and they work really hard to prepare for it. And then we have the other people that live in the, the past. I know that's kind of backwards, but. <clears throat> they, the people that live in the past, they, they constantly think about what was and what should be or could be they, they'll sit and they'll create fantasies about what their life could have been and now that they have the hindsight to see how their life played out they desperately want to go back and change a few things and then kind of like the butterfly effect and then maybe if I change this action here if I change that action there I can um, have a different outcome And they have a hard time accepting that what they think that should have been will, will never happen. Because you can't go backwards. You can only go forward. And it's the past and it's something you cannot change. And I'm speaking from experience because uh, I've been known to do this a lot in life. It's just to look backwards and say... Man, if I just did this differently, or if I, you know, treated that situation in a in a different manner, I would be in a totally different place. And I think it's strange for people to to live in the moment, um, to take every second and just squeeze life out of it, every moment of, and just make the most of it. Because we hardly think in terms of minutes or hours it's always you know you always get the uh, the the excuse me i'm sorry you always get the uh in interviews you know you always get the question where do you see yourself in five years from now you know and then it's and it's always oh man i gotta worry about this something that's happening three months from now and i have to worry and then what are we gonna do on the weekend and <clears throat> and it's and it's It's never we never really focus on today. It, usually we're trying to get through today. You know, it's like, oh man, here's Monday. I can't wait to get to Friday. And it's like, oh, here's Wednesday. Halfway there to Friday, and we never we never uh, we heart we we never just get up and say, I'm gonna make the most of today. I mean, you might, but in my experience, I've never done. I've hardly ever done that. Some days I have, but. 
you know, today was last year's future. Today was the last five years what you what you saw. So, and I feel like oh, we we will we will strive for moments, and then when they finally get here, we'll we'll go through it. And then we can't wait for the next moment. It's like on the weekend. Oh, there's a concert. We gotta go to that concert. Okay, when the concert's here, yeah. Okay, now it's over. Oh, we gotta go to you know we gotta go to on this trip in like two months. Okay, we'll get to the trip and then we'll do it. And it's like oh, what we're we gonna do in the summer? You know, it's just we're always like looking for that next big moment. And you know. We strive for moments in our life. And the moment in front of us often doesn't get a second thought, let alone a first one. I mean, just the other day I was I was going to work and I and I had my I had my my thermostat of coffee and I was walking in, had my lunch pail. And I just got this picture in my head of a guy that goes into like, you know, he just goes in, does his time, leaves, goes in, does his time, leaves, goes in, does his time, leaves. And kind of, you know, kind of hit me almost. It was like, is this what I'm doing? I'm just going to work and then going and then leaving. I mean, is that all that I've, oh, is that all I'm doing with my day? eight to five just going to do a job and then leave I just I just I was just thinking like what if we took every moment and try to make something special out of it what if we treated each moment as something as a chance to do something spectacular and like I said like, like I've been alluring too is that I, I don't do this I, I don't it was just it was just it was just came to me like what if we did this what if what if I went to work and I said you know what I'm gonna make the best day the day that today can be I'm gonna look for people to brighten their day I'm gonna make sure that I'm having a good day I'm gonna do the best job I can do and sorry I lost my place what if we just took every moment to really to love one another, to feel, to have an experience? Because isn't that what life is? Is the experience to 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 see, to taste, to touch? I mean, I feel like we go through life just trying to figure out what is all this stuff around us. I mean, we, we we're equipped with so many things that God has given us, like emotions, empathy, and then the just the ability to look up past ourselves and just ask why when I mean, you look at animals you know they they have their patterns of behavior and that's it i mean they just stay within those patterns of behavior yeah there can be external things that affect that but if you just let nature be nature they have these patterns and then they stay within these patterns but with but with but with us we have this innate ability to go why why are we here what are we doing where are we going and we have this ability to feel what other people are feeling, or at least have empathy for them, or sympathy. Well, I forget the, I can get the, the two confused, but you know, we have this just weird ability to. We see somebody in pain, and we're just we're broken, and we want to go help them. And then, and then sometimes we don't. We just we just say, "Oh, well, that's life. Sorry, keep moving on." And sometimes I feel like we just don't use what God has equipped us with. I mean, we we just mainly focus on ourselves. And we just want to acquire and acquire. We want more wealth. We want more fame. We want more knowledge. And we always want to be better than the next guy down the street. Now, I'm, saying, I'm not saying that there is anything wrong with wanting to improve yourself. I want to improve myself. I'm going to school. I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to improve myself on guitar. I'm working on editing skills. I'm working on thumbnails. I mean, I'm trying to improve myself. But I feel like when you when you go down the street, when you see somebody, 
and you see what they have and you get and you're just like man they have the life they have everything I would want I, I got to be better than that guy because I can I want to get some of that I, I feel like we, we just lose we just lose we just lose the picture you know you can I mean there's people that you know that are striving to reach the top and they're going up the ladder and they're doing it you know but I mean what are you missing when you're doing that some of these, these people that I'm thinking of like the people who are like um, like CEOs and like people that just focus on the job so they can become partners and stuff I mean you hear about most of these people they don't have families and if they do it's very limited they don't have friends and then because they're always just working to get to top to the top I'm sorry excuse me and it's just why you're why you're so focused on this like what are you missing and, and more importantly who are you missing because you could be missing out on somebody because you're so worried about your job or you're so worried about being the next insert whatever and I'm sorry this video hasn't been very articulate and it, I just kind of read what I wrote down um, like I said it's kind of a weird Saturday thoughts but um, I'm just not even uh, and there's there's so much more I want to say about this and I'm not sure what this would even look like what I'm talking about and I don't even know if this way of thinking and this way of living is possible it's just my Saturday thoughts thank you guys for watching this video be sure to let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below subscribe for more content um, news next week I'm gonna have a guest star on here for Saturday thoughts um, we kind of talked about a concept and it's something that I don't know a whole lot about so I'm either gonna have to research a ton in my spare time to kind of get some um, something I can say about it or it might be like a Q&A kind of um, informatory uh, type thing but uh, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss that next week and I'll see you next time.